Okay, so what we have here is a 1996, I believe, Power of the Force Millennium Falcon. Now, what makes this different from the 1979 version is obviously the color. The color is different. Um, that is one thing. And before I review this, I'm going to show you one other thing that how you could decide if it's the original or the one from the 90s. The one from the 70s I did own. Um, I threw it away because it was broken, worn out, pieces cracked, so on and so forth. But this one has four buttons for sounds. The original only had one. Um, obviously, the grays and the color, let me back it up. The grays and the, the color were not on the original, and the original main color was a lot lighter. It wasn't quite white, but it was very light. Um, all right, so let me open this up and show you what this thing looks like. Okay, inside is pretty much the same as the original. You have the little digital table. You have the gunner chair. You have the secret stash compartment. You have the loading ramp. Uh, in the background, there's like cardboard here. And even when I was a kid, I always wished that they left this open and left this hallway to the cockpit open to make it look more real like, like you see in the movies. So in the front of it, obviously you have the cockpit. Very poor design. Hinge, door latch. Um, but you can put two, two action figures in there. It does fit two. Uh, this is supposed to pivot, but it never really did. Now, this thing is brand new. Um, it was stored in a box for years. Unfortunately, where I stored it, I had liquid above it. And at some point, the liquid leaked down, got on the box and ruined the box. So I said, screw it. I'm going to open it. So this isn't like a played with model. I bought this brand new when it came out in the mid 90s uh, and had it since. And just figured I'd pop it open and show it all to you. So obviously that chair in there you can put an action figure in the gun does tilt a little bit um so this is real uh, on top of that the ramp does go up and down same as the original the satellite is round just like the original and does move uh the one from the force awakens the satellite was square and also, I believe this cargo hold, they call it, was closed off uh, from The Force Awakens. The front has lights. If I had batteries in this, I would show you that when you hit the buttons, it has four different sound effects. And these lights light up differently. The bottom has the three landing gears, just like the original. The front one folds. The other two go up and down. Now crazy thing is the original one and the one from the 90s it's exactly the same you pull these too hard you pull them right out it's a poor design but uh, you just pop them back in uh, so that's the landing gear this is the original box that it came in um, front looks pretty decent I said why the heck would you open that you see on the back it's all discolored uh, obviously got wet somehow it was made by Kenner still. I'm trying to see if it has a date on it, but I do not see one. Um, no, I don't see one. Wait. Millennium Falcon. I think it's 96. I think that that's what that 96 means. Um, so that is the Falcon in a nutshell from the 90s. Um, still holds its value. I think I paid 50 bucks for it. I think it was originally 99. I think they go for on eBay now, 99 bucks and up. So don't plan on selling it. I think it's cool. Uh, I do want to get the Death Star at some point because I had that as a kid also and that got destroyed. Uh, but that was an awesome, awesome vintage uh, Star Wars playset. So hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time.